Good morning. It is Monday morning again. Today, I am talking about integrating our spiritual life into the entirety of our life. And what a day to talk about that. Today is the eclipse. It's Monday, April 8th. And here in central Illinois, we have a front row seat to it. Where I live and am going live, I am just outside the zone of totality, but it'll be a short little drive to experience it completely. What a spiritual experience. Of course, there are some people online that are uh, projecting some things onto the eclipse that may not be relevant to the eclipse, but just uh, keep that in mind. Today, though, let's talk about your spiritual experiences and my spiritual experiences and how we incorporate those into all of our lives. We don't want to keep our spiritual life compartmentalized in a little box inside ourselves. We want it to be fully present with us. The goal of the spiritual life and of life in itself is to be a fully integrated body, mind, and spirit everywhere we go, whether that's at work, together with our family, out having fun with friends, or wherever we may be. It's the process of incorporating our beliefs, values, and experiences into all aspects of our lives. So let's talk about six aspects of the spiritual life and how we can integrate that into our everyday experience. First is alignment. We want our actions, decisions, and goals to reflect our spiritual principles and beliefs. And this just takes practice and reflection. Do the decisions you make reflect your values and your deepest beliefs? If not, uh, take some time to reflect what's getting in the way or what might be preventing that. Second is reflection. Engaging in spiritual practices such as meditation, journaling, or contemplation, they help to deepen our understanding and integration of our spiritual experiences. Taking time throughout the day to reflect on a decision you made or a situation you're in or an action you just took. It's a great way to grow, not only spiritually, but also emotionally. Also make a specific time each day to reflect, make it a specific intentional time in your life. And that will help you to integrate all of yourself together. Third is harmony. Create a balance between spiritual pursuits and everyday life responsibilities. In other words, unless it's your calling, don't spend the entire day meditating or journaling, nor do you want to neglect those practices. Strive for a daily routine that includes spiritual exercise and allows for work, responsibility, and fun. I don't know who said this, but uh, it's a really helpful quote. And the quote is, if you want to change something in your life, you have to change something you do every day. So create a routine. And I believe in the power of routines. Create a daily routine that includes those practices in your spiritual life, whether they're in the morning, in the evening, or maybe at lunchtime or sprinkled throughout your day. Make sure you have a routine so that you can incorporate and prioritize what matters most to you. Next is authenticity, living by your true spiritual self, your values, your beliefs, rather than conforming to external expectations. Develop your sense of self. And service, how do you express the spirituality that's within you? You express it through acts of kindness, compassion, and service to others. And finally, growth. Continuously evolving and growing sp spiritually through learning, self-discovery, and practice. It's a process that isn't a one and done, but it's something you do every day. Continue to grow. Continue to allow for new opportunities and experiences to shape and mold you. Just be sure that you prioritize which ones that you are letting take up residence in your spirit. Integrating your spirituality in all of who you are acknowledges the interconnectedness of all aspects of life. It speaks to the holistic and meaningful existence that honors both the material and spiritual dimensions of our human experience. That, friends, is the filled life. Thanks for watching. I'm Melissa Ebkin, the pastor of the Iliopolis and Niantic Christian Churches, and your companion on the journey.